How's it going everybody? It's Dean Duster back again with another video. I'm back at the South Contra River in San Angelo, Texas. Gonna be doing some carp and smallmouth buffalo fishing today. I uh, got Justin Taylor with me again. Same spot we were at last time. Pretty cold this morning. It was reading about 28 degrees when we got here. Uh, the wind is not blowing. It doesn't feel all that cold right now. It really doesn't feel 28. Uh, it's supposed to warm up into the 60s today. And we have, I think it's going to be a southern wind, so it should warm things up a little bit more. San Angelo area is just now coming out of a cold front. So I'm hoping that the fish are going to be feeding pretty good. Uh, and we are going to see what we can find today. I got two different rigs I'm going to work with today. I got a bread. I'm going to be fishing with bread uh, and the same pack bait I used last time. So I'll show you all those rigs as soon as I'm about to get in the water. But y'all come along with us and let's go rip some lips. So this is a rig. I'll be using for bread. Yeah, I know. What I'm going to do is take a bread ball. And basically what this is, is like a redneck spinoff of a European hair rig, except with a weight. I'm going to take this bread ball and smash it and pack it around this weight. Because this bread shouldn't dissolve in water very fast when it's packed like this and this allows that carp to come by and pick it up and still get the hook because if you put the bread ball directly on the hook it's a hard to keep it on the hook and b hard to get a hook point exposed to catch a carp so let's get this casted out there And it worked like a charm. Stayed on there really good. We're out more towards the middle. There we go. First rig set up. Using my tiger rods. They're seven foot rods. Medium heavy. These are just little $20 Walmart rigs. I got 25 pound braid on and i'm going to show you the pack bait that i'm going to be using on the other rig here in san angelo you can only use two rods at a time per person in the city but here's that pack bait it's like a it's a bread crumb strawberry jello and sweet corn mix and on it or with it i'll be using this fake corn hair rig Right here, pull this out. That fake corn will just sit in a pile of that bait on a one ounce sliding lead, 25 pound braid, just like the other rig. Let's see if I can get some of this pack bait to stick to this lead. Looks like it may stick. Pack it just a little better. There. We'll see if I can't get a good cast with this. Oh yeah, money. All right. There we go. We got both of them set up about the same same depth out there, same length. And we're gonna see if that doesn't produce anything. Alright, so we moved spots. We went up the river a little bit. There's a little kind of a water 
fall right there coming over a little dam. Uh, this is more wooded area, a little more shallow, I believe. So we'll see if that doesn't produce anything. We got a few bites of the last hole. Uh, just didn't hook up on anything. So we'll see if this spot produces anything different. Justin's got a carp on here. Not a bad one. Nothing huge. Fish of the day. <clears throat> you don't want to give it up. like an eight. Okay, that's kilograms. Hang on, I don't know what that is. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Well, there you go. There you go. That one just popped off. It felt like a good fish. Okay, so before I show you the video here of this next fish, uh, a couple hours after catching this fish, I looked at the TPW website uh, because it kind of jogged my curiosity. Um, it kind of jogged my curiosity because this was a very big smallmouth buffalo that I caught. So I went to check the TPWD website and for the South Concho River, for the South Concho River, uh, it didn't show a smallmouth buffalo, but for the Concho River uh, overall, it showed a record for a smallmouth buffalo and it showed 27.35 pounds, I believe. I'm going to go get a screenshot of that and put it here to see if you can see it. Um, this fish weighed in at 29 and a half pounds. Uh, the net was already zeroed out on the scale, I believe. Uh, even if it isn't, we know that that net weighed one pound. So even if the net isn't zeroed out, which I'm pretty sure it was, it's still a 28 and a half pound fish. Uh, so it definitely beat the record. I didn't have an official scale and didn't really think of looking for one to get the record written down. But I do believe this was a Concho River record. Uh, I'm going to stick with it. It's an unofficial record. Uh, we're going to go with that. So let's go check that fish out. What is this? It don't feel like a carp, but I don't know. This is a carp. It's the weirdest fighting carp I've ever seen. Whatever the 
this is feels good, bro. Oh, buddy. I think there's a PB if I get him in. Oh, I thought he was done. Oh, dude, this is a big buffalo. Yeah, it is. I think you popped my feet. My feet, me. Uh, that may be a 30. <laughs> it's been a long, hard day. I'm not catching any fish. And then this donkey comes along. And I'm fairly sure he's gonna annihilate my PB. Yeah. What did he weigh? 29 and a half. There we go. 29 and a half smallmouth buffalo for Thanks. Andrew. Picture. <coughs> you want me to stop recording to get uh, uh, Just hit that little white circle. Okay. We've got an amateur cam cameraman here. <laughs> You're probably gonna have to create a little bit. There we go. Okay. Give me one second. All right. Oh. Sit him down. Off he goes. Wow. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Only two fish caught in this video. Uh, with how the day was going, I originally wasn't gonna upload the video anyways, but after catching that fish, I'm pretty sure Concho River record, uh, have to upload the video, right? Only caught one fish on the day. Justin caught one fish as well. I got that video, you'll already have seen it. Uh, but I do appreciate y'all watching. Um, Keep an eye out in the next couple of days after this is posted. I'll be having a crappie fishing video from back in my old hometown near Eastland, Texas. Uh, I'll probably be going up. I'm going to be fishing two days there uh, on Christmas Day and the day after, I believe. Or maybe the day after and two days after. Saturday, Sunday after Christmas. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we'll figure it out. But there will be another crappie fishing video going up soon. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.